<coughs> okay, so we're looking at a range of questions in the probably what we call fluency, straightforward ones. Um, there aren't too many pr problems, which you will be getting, so your application of knowledge is also important. So let's have a look at some straightforward ones, hopefully. <coughs> so we're looking at uh, perimeter, which is the distance around the outside and the area, and we've got some composite shapes to start with. Okay, so uh, when you're ready, pause, and then come back live when you're, when you're done. Okay, um, I'm going to divide the shape up, getting ready for my area. Okay, so that's my shape for the area. Now for the perimeter, I've got to put in the, some missing numbers. Um, so I'll change colours. So if that's one, then that'll be one. If that's six, then that's a six. And five plus two is seven. So that distance there is going to be a three. So the perimeter is just going to be the distance right around the outside. So it's six, two, one, three, one, five, six, and then ten. So the perimeter is just around the outside. So six, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, eighteen, twenty-four. So the perimeter is thirty-four meters, and areas. Okay. So the first area, area one is a. Uh, 5 by 6, which is 30. Area 2 is now. We've just got to calculate. Now that's 1. The distance is 6. So that distance there is 5. So that's a 3 by 5 is 15. And area 3 is a 2 by 6, which is 12. 27. Yeah. So 30, 45, 47, 57. So 57 metres squared. Don't forget the volume uh, area units, the squared units. Okay, so looking at perimeter again. So we're looking at the distance around the outside, so there's no problems there. And I'm just going to have division uh, of the shape for the areas later on. So perimeter equals 4, 5, 8, and 3. So 9. 12, so that's 20 metres, but for the area, area 1 is a triangle, so that's half times the base is 3. Now, that is 4, so that means that that is also 4 because we have a total of 8, so half base times height, so area 1 is 2, area 2 is a rectangle, 4 by 3, which is 12, so the total is 18. Okay. Uh, now, next one is a part of a circle. Um, so we've got a right angle there, which means we've got uh, 90 degrees cut out. So you have to work out what fraction of a circle we have. Come, come back when you're ready. Okay, so the perimeter is going to be the two, radii, two radii. Radii. Radii plus the circumference. That's there which is a part part circumference so we've got two times two and we've got three quarters of a circle and the circumference is two pi r so i just have to put that in the calculator as it is that's that's 0.75 times four times so the total answer you don't have to tell me that each part but the total answer is to one decimal place 13.4 meters and the area we've got three quarters of a circle times pi times radius squared and just check that in the calculator in one step should be about nine yes and 9.4 meters squared so be ready for parts of a circle um, the circumference of a whole circle is 2 pi r the area of a whole circle is pi r squared. And we just have to work out what fraction we had. Okay, so next one is uh, find surface area, one decimal place if appropriate. So uh, we've got some basic shapes to start with. Okay, have a pause and when you're ready, come back. Okay, first one is supposed to be a cube. So it's six times L squared, which is six times three squared. So the first answer is 54. Uh, next one is a rectangular prism, a cuboid. So the surface area equals 2 times 3 by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus 4 by 2. So you've got 12. You don't have to 
show the intermediate calculations 12 6 and 8 so it's 226 so you can just put that straight in the calculator and get the answer 52 and the last one is a triangular prism now the formula there really isn't a formula this is two triangles and three rectangles you have to work out okay so the two triangles are half base is 8 height is 3 and the rectangles two of the rectangles are going to be the same so we've got two rectangles that are the same so two five by four so that's two of the rectangles and the last rectangle on the bottom is eight by four okay um, just so put that on the calculator so we've got three, four, plus three. So the answer, I think, is 96. I know I'm rushing through, but I think the answer is 96. Okay, so two rectangles and three tri uh, two triangles and three rectangles. And you've got to work out are the rectangles the same or are they different? In this particular case, two of the rectangles are the same and the last rectangle on the bottom is different. Okay, so we've got volumes next. Okay, so this next, number three, um, I want you to give the exact value, volume, so no decimal places in terms of pi. And come back when you're ready. Okay, first one is just a cuboid, so the volume equals 6 by 2 by 3. So the first one is 36 metres cubed, we're in volume, so we cube the unit. Okay, second, uh, second one, sorry, second one up here. So the second one is a composite shape, but the, it's a constant cross section there. So the volume equals the area times the length. So it's 3.2 times 2. So it's just 6.4 metres cubed. And the last one, volume is, formula is pi r squared h. Now, because it's an exact value, we just leave pi as pi. The radius is 3, not 6. That's the diameter given. And the height is 10. So 3 squared is 9. 9 tens and 90, so the exact answer is 90 pi metres cubed. Okay, so in exact answers, you don't use pi as 3.14, you just leave it as, as, a, as a multiple of pi. Okay, looking at the next question. Okay, oh, it's another volume question. Okay, so it's just a triangular prism. Um, when you're ready, and have a go and come back live when you're ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, volume equals half base height length so that's a half base is eight the height is six so we're looking for this right angle so these two numbers are your base and height and this 10 is not going to be part of the calculation for volume it would be part of the calculation for surface area but we're not doing that so half base height times the length and the length is three so when you put that in your calculator, 4, 6, or 24 times 3. So we've got 72 metres cubed. Okay, so you're given extra information that you don't use. Okay, moving along. And that's it. So that's the end of the quiz. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the fluency sections. You will be doing some problems, um, but you'll be just applying what you've just been doing there. Okay, thanks.